Greetings students. Today we are going to learn about one of USA's leading restaurant, Darden Restaurant. Let us know this company in a much better way. Darden Restaurant Incorporation is a multi-brand restaurant operator headquartered in Orlando. The firm owns several casual dining restaurant brands, Olive Garden, Longhorn, Steak House, Red Lobster, Bahama Breeze, Season 52, Eddie V's Prime Seafood, The Capital Grilled and Yard House. Darden has more than 2,100 restaurant locations and more than 2 lakhs employees, making it the world's largest full-service restaurant company. As of 2012, Darden is the only Fortune 500 company with its corporate headquarters in Greater Orlando. What would come to be known as Darden Restaurant began when William Bill Darden founded the Red Lobster Inns of America and opened the first Red Lobster restaurant in Lakeland, Florida in 1968. Darden chose Lakeland because he wished to see how a seafood restaurant would fare in a non-coastal region. And Lakeland was the innermost city in Florida. The initial Red Lobster franchise was applauded by diners and critics alike. The store became successful and by 1970 had expanded to three locations in the state with two more under construction. While the locations were profitable, the company lacked the resources to expand further. So Darden sold the company to food giant General Mills that year. General Mills upgraded a chain to a more casual dining of family fair oriented format, opened a new company headquarters in Orlando and retained Darden as company manager. In 1975, when Darden was promoted to the position of vice president at General Mills, Joseph Joe R. Lee, the company's first restaurant manager, was made president of Red Lobster. Under General Mills, Red Lobster grew into a chain of almost 400 locations by 1985. The company underwent several restructurings and transformed itself from an inexpensive fast food seller into a chain of casual dining seafood restaurant by 1988. In 1982, Darden opened the first Olive Garden concept store in Orlando. In 1990, China Coast was launched as an attempt to create a U.S. national casual dining restaurant that featured American Chinese cuisine. While the chain eventually expanded to some 50 restaurants, its sales were lackluster and lost an estimated dollar 20 million USD. In 1995, General Mills decided to spin off its restaurant chains to focus on consumer food products. The new company was named Darden Restaurant after Red Lobster founder. General Mills stockholders receive one share of Darden for every common share of General Mills health. General Mills restaurant had $108 million net income in that year. At the end of 1995, Darden operated 1,250 restaurants in 49 states with 73 locations in Canada. In March 1996, Darden launched a test of Bahama Breeze Caribbean Grill concept featuring food and drinks found in the island of the Caribbean Sea and a Caribbean theme was created in 1996 which couldn't make the estimated profits. 1999 saw Darden opening additional location after recovering from the 1996-1997 losses. The company then began testing a new concept entitled Smoky Bones BBQ Sports Bar that opened in late 1999 in Orlando. The restaurant is a sports bar concept featuring barbecue and related foodstuffs in an Appalachian Mountain Lodge setting. In 2003, Seasons 52 was under development with the idea of provide guests the opportunity to indulge while still eating well. Season 52 were only being opened in the Florida or Atlantic markets during the initial phase. Darden announced in January 2007 that the company was willing to expand by purchasing an existing 100 location change even considering franchise. In August, Darden acquired rival Atlanta-based restaurant holder Rare Hospitality for $1.4 billion USD, gaining Rare's two chains, the Capital Grill and Longhorn Steakhouse. In December, Darden announced that it would sell its Smoky Bones chain to Barbecue Integrated Incorporation, an affiliate of Sun Capital Partners Incorporation, for approximately $80 million. The sale was completed in January 2008. 
In 2010 season, 52 started a new expansion phase opening up in 11 more states over the next three years. In January 2011, Darden announced co-locating their Olive Garden and Red Lobster brands in smaller markets to share kitchen but continue separate menus and eating areas. In October 2011, Darden acquired two chain, Eddie V's Prime Seafood and Wildfish Seafood grilled for $1.59 million cash transaction and were placed with an Ed Specialty Restaurant Group. Also in October, Darden signed an area development agreement with Americana Group of Kuwait to develop and operate at least 60 locations using the Red Lobster, Olive Garden and Longhorn Steakhouse concept. In July 2012, Darden acquired the Yard House 39 location beer-centric chain for $585 million from TSG Consumer Partners. Yard House will be alongside the other upscale restaurant in Darden's specialty, Restaurant Group. A diverse workforce really creates a lot of synergy. So when you have differences of opinions and different ideas flowing, then you get bigger and better ideas. I think people stay at Darden because you can be your authentic self at work you can be passionate about what you do, but you also need to be the best you can be. Striving for excellence in an environment where everyone feels welcome, special, and appreciated. That's our secret recipe. By embracing and celebrating our individual differences, we've made Darden a special place to be for everyone. One of the elements of being a special place is that who you are matters. And so for us, that means being able to work with people that value your individuality and that you have the opportunity to bring uh, really your whole self and your authentic self to work. And, you know, at the end of the day, it means that you feel really at home being at Darden. And to me, that's the most important. The company shed 85 very high-level corporate position because of loss of sales in past few quarters. So students, we went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope the information was useful. Have a nice day.